What's good everybody, Brit Tech here and today I am bringing to you guys a product review and unboxing. Yes, I bought it. I caved in, gave up my iPhone 8 Plus and I got the iPhone 10R or as some people like to say XR. But um, yeah, I'm going to get right into it. So I'm just going to open it up and um, you guys already know I already opened it and took off the wrapper I had to see what I had bought so um all right so uh oh looks like okay I'm loving this glass back the red is fire I'm loving it um so far so good I'm a little sad because like I said I um gave up my iPhone 8 plus and all, all of you guys know the iPhone 8 plus had a home button this does not so it's probably gonna take some adjusting, but um, the screen definitely looks bigger than, I can say that the screen looks bigger, maybe not as wide, but definitely longer on this phone than on the 8 Plus, if you need something to compare it to. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And uh, most of you know that when you turn the old iPhones on, all you have to do is press this side button right here, well, with the XR or the 10R, you have to press one of the volume buttons and this and hold them at the same time. So um, it's a little different. It's gonna take some getting used to, minor adjustments, nothing I can't handle. But um, yeah, let's get straight into the phone. So in the, I got the red kit and in the kit comes the earbuds, a brand new pair of earbuds. These are the uh, wired headphones, as well as a charging cable and port just like any other iPhone, and uh, a set of instructions on what to do. So, many of you know with the 10R, the XR, uh, there's various different colors. This wasn't my first choice. The yellow was my first choice, but the, uh, the place I went to, they actually were sold out of the yellow, so I had to go with my second choice, which was this red. But I'm glad I did because I really, I really, really like it. It's a... Uh, it's pretty cool it's a nice red it's flashy the sides are kind of matte and then the back is shiny so I don't mind that at all um, but okay so product red see got some Apple stickers ooh never got that before it says in partnership with red Apple will contribute a portion of your iPhone purchase to the global fund to support HIV AIDS programs Wow that is awesome so I guess anybody who buys the the red one and um the the proceeds some of the proceeds go to aids and hiv research so that's awesome um let's see okay so it looks like they included this as well and this is i'm guessing well no yeah it's pretty much how you open the sim card port so they included this i don't know if they included this in my last one but that's pretty cool um, let's see what else am I missing anything okay so set of instructions okay so to silence your phone or the ring switch is on this side just like all the other ones and uh, the volume buttons are right below it just like on the other models um, tap to wake you know you just tap and it wakes up and uh, let's see, okay, so down in the bottom left, you have the flashlight, R bottom right, you have the camera. So that's another option, touch and hold. Uh, let's see. Okay, and then we have the side button, which we also know as the power button, but this time it's a little bit more. So press once to wake or sleep. And then press twice to activate Apple Pay. Okay, so I don't have I forgot I don't have I don't have Apple Pay activated yet. So, but yeah, you get my drift. And then press and hold to turn on iPhone or activate Siri. Hey Siri, what's up? Siri Apple. What? Okay, anyways, you get the drift. So um, that's pretty much how you do it. And then, like I said before, to power off 
or access the emergency SOS, you have to select or press down and hold one of the uh, volume buttons as well as this side button. So I'm gonna press and hold, voila, there you see. And that's how you turn the phone off. And uh, yeah, let's see what else the phone has to offer. I don't think anything else is on this. Nope, but okay, so, so far I don't really see too many cons with the phone. I'm a little sad, it doesn't have the home button, but I guess it was time to give that up. Um, you know, technology is advancing, so we gotta change some things. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's check out the camera because I don't know if anybody else feels this way, but the camera on the iPhone 8 Plus sucked. It was very grainy when I uh, used to FaceTime different people. Yes, I know that has something to do with the connection as well, but even with my pictures, I was just like not feeling it. So um, let's check out the camera. And um, we have the front facing camera as well as the back camera. And uh, okay. Yes, so I am loving this. The quality, wow, the quality is so much better. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. The quality is so much, it's A1 on this. Wow. Okay, so I'm definitely loving that. And this is a 64 gigabyte phone. So, um, yes, let's see. Anything else? Also, guys, because the phone does not have the home button, it now, instead of touch, uh, instead of fingerprint touch ID, it has face ID recognition. So that's also something I'm gonna be getting used to. However, I feel like it is a plus because I won't always have to put my phone there. I could just, you know, put it in front of my face, my phone unlocks, or an application I'm using unlocks. So that's pretty dope. But um, I have yet to set that up as well, so I have to set all that stuff up later. Not gonna waste you guys time with that, but uh, as well as the passcode too. So instead of passcode and fingerprint, it has passcode and face ID. So that's pretty dope. And uh, let's just see another thing that I noticed. Um, as you all know, with eight plus or below, when you swipe up, it brings up your control center. Well, when you swipe up on the uh, 10R and above, I guess, or the 10 and above, you get the home uh, screen. You don't get the control center. You get the home screen. So, and um, that's a little different. I, I don't know if I like it yet, but it's going to take some getting used to, like I said, as well. Um, also, to, in, uh, I guess... Now that they replaced that with the home screen, to get to the control center, you have to swipe down. And there you have it. You have the flashlight, alarm, calculator, camera. You have the uh, screen record, the do not disturb while driving. You have everything you used to have on the other phones, uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. cetera, app, uh, Apple Music. So that's pretty cool. So to swipe up, you get the home screen to swipe down, you get the control center. So it's a little crazy, but all in all, you know, iPhone is iPhone and I'm not gonna complain. But uh, yeah, guys, this is pretty much just things just by fingering around on the phone. These are things that I've noticed so far and I am loving it. Um, I am glad I made the upgrade. Um, other than the home button missing, I don't really have any cons about the phone yet i'm sure maybe later on if i find some things that i don't like i'll do another video but right now this I, I think it's a really good phone i'm loving the red you know looking flashy when i'm out when i'm out and about with friends and i'm on the phone i just love it um i love everything about it um it's just gonna take some getting used to but yeah guys um i hope you enjoyed this product review and unboxing um also you know i'm not trying to mess this phone up so i did buy a glass screen protector um and the link for that will be down below in the description i also bought a shockproof waterproof case 
because I'm going to I'm going to want to use it underwater when I go on vacation. So, I did buy this. This is also going to be in the description down below. Both of them, both of them you can find on Amazon. And uh yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Leave a nice comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time on the next video. Peace.